sharing notes in Google Keep. Because Google Keep is, of course, a Google product, uh, working collaboratively and being able to share with colleagues or students or peers is always uh, something that Google does very well. Within Google Keep, um, there are a few differences than there are in our other Google applications, mainly that when you share a note with someone in Google Keep, they have full editing rights to that particular note. Uh, you don't have the ability to say comment only or view only like you do in, for example, a Google slide. There's also going to be no revision history, so you're not going to be able to track who made changes to a note, particularly um, that's important if you have shared it with a large group of people. So you really want to make sure that when you're sharing a Google Keep a note with someone that you trust them uh, impeccably with uh, the rights that you're giving them. To share a Google Keep note, it's very similar to within any of our other Google uh, applications. You can see when I come in here, one of my icons down along the bottom is that, uh, what should be familiar to at this point, icon of a head and shoulders with a little plus sign. And when I select that, you'll see uh, my box pops up where I can start typing in the username that I want, and I can select it, and then I can hit save. So this note has now been shared, in this case, with Tracy. It'll show her icon picture there on the notes so that I know it has been shared with her. And as I scroll down through my notes, you'll see that I have notes that have been shared with a variety of other people in our office. And as shown in the last video about searching, when I go into search, one of the parameters that comes up with the people that I have shared notes with. So in this case, if I selected Tracy, here are all the notes that Tracy and I have shared amongst ourselves, um, as well as possibly with other people if it's a group note of some sort.